Today I'm going to show you how to fix 404 error messages on your website as well as how to use 301 redirects to fix those error messages. Lots of numbers coming right at you but don't worry I'm going to make this really simple. So let's go ahead and get started. First let me explain what a 404 error message is. That's when on your website someone comes to a page that doesn't exist. So maybe they type something in and they get this 404 error message and page not found. But usually it happens because another site has linked back to your website, but that link, for whatever reason, has been broken. Usually that happens if you remove a page from your website or rename a blog post or something similar. In Zoho, which is where I have my website, this is done on many pages, but you could do this when you're writing a blog post. You click Edit Post URL and change a post URL for that particular blog post. Now post URLs are used by Google and other search algorithms to help identify what the content of your blog post is. So it's really helpful on search engine optimization to make sure that your title or your blog post URL closely matches to whatever search terms you want. I get into that in search engine optimization. I'll leave a link down in the video description below. Go ahead and check that out if you want to learn more. But in short, basically that means you posted a blog post at some point in the past. Then at a later date, you have taken that blog post and you modified the site URL. So any other websites out there that are now pointing to that original blog post are broken. If someone tries to follow that link on their website, they're going to come up to a page that looks a lot like this. It's going to be a 404 error message. Now that I've explained what it is, let me help you find out where you're having that issue and how you can fix it. To use that, I'm going to use Search Console. And again, I've covered that in another video. If you'd like to learn more, I'll leave that link in the description below as well. So please check out that video if you want to learn how to sign up for Search Console. What you'll do is you'll log into Search Console and you come down to your crawl section crawl errors and under crawl errors you're going to find any of the URL errors and it's going to list them down here so now we can see that this is a URL that Google crawlers have found that does not work and they found that because it's posted from linked from other sites so you can see the linked from which sites have linked to this now I don't know where those sites are I don't know how they got my blog post but for whatever reason they are linking back to my site Instead of reaching out to those websites and saying, hey, please fix your links, because that's probably not going to happen, it's better to just create a 301 redirect. And that's really simple. So what you'll do is you'll just copy this section right here and jump back to your Google Sites. Go to Manage and Settings. Scroll down to the SEO section and 301 redirect and paste that section right there fix any formatting issues, and then select where you would like that page to redirect to. So I'm going to just jump this back to my blog posts. So if anyone does come to this link, which is no longer valid, I did change the title of that post and the URL for that post, so this link is no longer valid. I'm going to redirect it to my blog page. Click Save. Go back to Edit Your Site. and then click Publish. I've tested this both ways and you do have to click Publish before that, that 301 redirect works. So now, if you come back and someone comes to that page, they link from it from another website, it's instead of bringing up that 404 error message, what it did, it brought me right back to my blog posts. So instead of having a bad experience where they come to your site and they see this 404 error message and then maybe they just quit, they'll instead be brought up to another page on your website and hopefully stick around more importantly. Now Google does say they don't penalize you for these 404 error messages in their search results, but it is better for user experience for your viewers or anybody visiting your site not to get those error messages. So that's fixed. Once you're done, you just come here, say mark it as fixed, It'll no longer be listed, but it'll reappear if it becomes a problem again. It's not going to become because we have that 301 error message and press OK. Hope this was helpful for you guys. I'm planning on putting out more of these little tips and trick videos in the future. If you like it, please subscribe. Any thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comments below. Check out my other videos. I appreciate it. Take care, everyone.